Welcome to Embrace Yourself. My name is Kim and I'm a movement specialist passionate about joy, health, and happiness. I want each of us to discover our healthiest, happiest selves, but to do that, we have to get up and move. Today, I'd like to demonstrate an exercise to strengthen the gluteal muscles. Now, the glutes are known as our butt muscles, but the outer glute, glute medius, is an abductor muscle that takes the leg away from the body. I wanna focus on strengthening these muscles so that we can start getting into our squats and our lunges and have good form and feel good. But I know a lot of us have knee injuries or maybe a hip or a back injury. We're needing to ease our way into some of the more complicated exercises. So I thought I'd start with this one to focus on strength and balance. And I'm going to use a prop today for those of you that need something to hold on to. I'm in my studio, so I don't have my office desk nearby, but you could use a table, a desk, a chair, anything that if you need some feedback to your proprioceptive system, you can use, and it will help you to make sure to do this exercise correctly. So let's get started. I wanna make sure that I'm standing hip width apart, and I've got my hip bone, knee joint, and second and third toe in line. Now I'm going to use the stick, or if I have my desk, I'm going to have the hand next to the leg that's the weight-bearing leg. What I'm going to do, I'm placing my fingertip up on that hip joint, and I'm gonna think about just softening the standing knee, which is going to be my right leg. I'm going to kick the leg out to the side and just hold. And I'm holding for about five, maybe 10 seconds and release. Now, those of you that can do this without holding on to anything and just stand in balance, you are welcome to do that as well and place the foot down. What I'm looking for is I wanna make sure that my hips stay parallel and level as I hold. I'm thinking about using that short foot, which we taught yesterday. So I'm engaging my foot in order to stay strong. And I really feel this exercise in the standing butt leg. So I can really feel the side of my hip and I feel it all the way around. In addition, I am getting work as I abduct and take that leg away. On the left side, I'm still getting work here. So this is a great exercise to do. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other, right? So now I'd either have to turn if I have a desk or figure out a way you wanna stabilize just in the event you need it for your nervous system. So I soften that knee, take the leg out, and you can start by just taking it out, check in with your pelvis and make sure that you're neutral and level, and then take that leg up and hold for five to 10 seconds, and then release, and again, you can do this holding on to something. You could do it without holding on and balance. And what you're looking for is do you feel it not only in your standing leg, but also on the side of the leg that's lifting. So I'm really focused on my hips on both legs. I'm making sure that I'm not rotating and spiraling my body to do this exercise. So I wanna stay in the same plane of motion, which right now we're working the frontal plane because we're going out to the side. These exercises are so great for us because we spend so much time seated or walking in a sagittal plane that I wanna start working on the muscles that help me work into other planes of motion. So this is your home fun for today. How easy is that? Hold on to something, practice your balance, think about axial elongation, engaging that core, standing nice and tall. And a challenge for those of you that still need to hold on is, see if you can do it with one finger. Maybe close your eyes and lose visual feedback so that you start learning how to balance yourself and just pay attention to the feedback that you're getting out of the foot. Don't forget to engage that foot and engage your core. And this exercise is gonna be a great one to do. Let's try five to 10 repetitions on each side. Again, think about holding anywhere from five to 10 seconds and just really concentrate on your form on this. I can't wait for you to try your home fun. In the meantime, please be sure to click on subscribe, make a like or a comment on the YouTube channel. I'm so excited to have you join today and I can't wait to see what you think of your home fun. I will be sure to see you tomorrow.